Hi Theo, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. What do you want to talk about today? I'm not sure. You know, I wasn't going to come in today. Well, you've been coming here for a while now. Don't you think it's time to open up? I don't know what to do anymore. I hate talking about it. Talking about what? I'm here for you. I'm here to help. It's time to move on. What was the main reason you started coming here? Do you remember? It's because of my thing. Okay, well, let's start from the beginning. How was your life before this thing? I was a happy person and would only dream of what my life would be like. Ever since I could remember, I had big dreams. Dreams that I knew one day would come true. Like traveling, or owning my own business. But those dreams were nothing compared to my favorite dream. I loved sharing my stories with others. I had idols I looked up to, but it wasn't the main reason I wanted to be a director. It was because of these places I loved going to. That includes my favorite theater, the big sign, my favorite view, and many more places. They gave me a purpose in this world. Until one day, the worst thing that could happen to someone happened to me. You're talking about your diagnosis? Yeah. A couple months after graduating high school, I was diagnosed with leukemia. When I first heard the news, I was in denial. Did you think your life was over? Some part of me thought I was done for. I didn't know what to feel. I would be lying if I said I wasn't scared. What kind of thoughts would go through your head? I was thinking about myself, my future, and the people I was letting down. Be more specific. What kind of thoughts? Good? Bad? Explain it to me. If I'm being honest, death was on my mind most of the day. The fear of death grew day by day. I could picture my own funeral. The reality was, I would have more dark and gloomy thoughts than I did happy thoughts. I felt like death was chasing me trying to catch me let's go back to your dreams what happened to your dreams your happy thoughts the cancer was in my blood but it felt like a tumor that kept me from being myself all of those dreams goals and places that made me feel good were erased from my mind for good everything was black and white with no real meaning for a long period of time these are heavy thoughts to be carrying on your own did anyone have any idea what was going through your head? No one had a clue. I think this might be the first time I'm telling someone. Why do you think you feel the need to keep all this to yourself? This all seems like a burden to me. How do you think others would feel if I told them? I'm sure they would offer to help. And worst of all, I felt like an imposter. Every time I went to the hospital, I would see someone who was in a worse situation than I was in. Any complaining I did was invalid. Your brain was playing tricks on you. I'm sure you had people there to help you. People who cared showed up and treated me like they always did. I had to push through all the fear, pain, and anger because all the people who cared about me also depended on me to become successful. When did you realize that your mindset had changed once again? It was weird. One day, I just woke up and got the urge to go back to the place where I first heard the news. I wasn't going to let my loved ones down. I care about those people, and I owe it to them to keep pushing and get out of this horrible time in my life. I feel like the places I mentioned are calling me again. I know my foundation, and I know one day that dream will come true. Today's session has felt like the one that has truly helped. I don't think I need this anymore. In all honesty, Theo, you're not done healing. You've been through what others can only imagine. So, same time next week? Thank you. Oh, and I almost forgot to ask, but you never told me, what were your chances of survival? 50%.